Yamish, we're just going to throw up on the screen the list of firsts uh, that Kamala Harris uh, would represent as a vice president of the United States. Uh, she's, she is already the first black woman to run for vice president on a major party ticket. First Indian American to be a candidate for vice president on a major party ticket. First graduate of a historically black college or university to run for president or VP. She's the first member of a black sorority to run for, and by the way, Yamish, that's your sorority, I believe, to run for president or VP. It is my sorority. And, and, and this is the one that I kind of guessed at, and when we fact-checked, it turned out to be true. First California Democrat on a major party presidential ticket. Uh, the Democrats have never gone farther west than Texas uh, for their presidential ticket. Uh, Yamish, uh, this is uh, a candidacy unlike any we've ever seen. That's right. And no matter what happens tomorrow night, um, she has solidified her place in history as the first black woman on a major party ticket to be a vice presidential nominee. And I can tell you from the reporting that I've been doing all over this country, some virtually, but also on the ground in places like Florida and Wisconsin, um, People, especially African-Americans, um, are so proud to see someone that looks like them on a major party ticket. African-American women in particular are the backbone of the Democratic Party. And they've been saying for years that they want to see themselves represented in a major way, in a principal way. And that's what they they got in Senator Harris. I should also note that when there you look at a study in 2009 by Tufts University when you, among college graduates, African-American women in particular had the highest voting rates of any race, of any ethnicity. So black women have are active. They're plugged into elections for a long time. And Senator Harris um, is representing them in, in some big ways. Another thing to note is I remember interviewing Senator Harris um, before she became the nominee. And she told me, her mother always told her, be the first, but don't be the last. So she is someone who has told me that she's very much invested in making sure other women, other people of color, other Asian women, other people, other people that have diversity, that they also um, see themselves reflected and also have the support to have to go to the places where she went.